Alexander strikes it right footed, edge of the box, shot comes in! Oh, it's a goal for Milan! It's taken 50 seconds! Flick through to Shevchenko, not offside, might shoot, plays it in! Milan score! Oh. Is there an injustice there? to the Liverpool penalty area and he's chipped to the right hand side of Jerzy Dudek and that Not could over. be the end of the Champions League final and that Not could over. be the end of the Champions League final the end of the Champions League final 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 Half time, the Ataturk Stadium, May 2005. A scene of total devastation, shock, humiliation. 45 minutes from eternal shame. 45 minutes that brought this city to its knees. Throughout its unique history, this proud city has twice been close to oblivion. Once during the Blitz of 1941, the other at halftime in Istanbul. How were the locals feeling that night after those horrendous first 45 minutes? So, what exactly was going through your mind at halftime? I nearly lost my bloody mind, lad. That first half was terrible. Terrible. That fella day could play a better game. And hey, when they got the third goal, when they got the... God bless us. I'm not kidding you. And then this one... Well, 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 well. I'd like you to tell our viewers, but more importantly, me, what exactly you were feeling during half time at Istanbul. My God, I'll never forget that first off. My fella was in absolute bits. Sobbing his arse out, he was. I'd be hands our coach. He couldn't coax him out. Hey, not even with these on. Woo! That first half was a hard effort to kick me. When my land got the third one right, I came down here, and honest to God, I, I seen one of the live birds like that. <sighs> it was proper pissed off, lad. Next minute, we got off. Others, the reaction was quite the opposite. None more so than here, in the blue quarter of the city. Excuse me. This is quite 
I was wondering if you'd like to share with our viewers your feelings and opinions during the half-time interval that night in 2005. Red tape. <laughs> oh, the scenes in here that night at half-time were unbelievable. I mean, there was, there was piggybacks and somersaults and, and hugs and kisses. I mean, there was fellas with their throats down, other fellas' throats. It was fantastic. Red tape. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I'll never forget that night. Me and him had a bash in the bogs at half time, didn't we, lads? <laughs> we wanted to have a baby and call him Crespo. Mummy's just saying to the nice man, you did add another name, didn't you, Ronaldo? Red child. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. I hope uh, you're not going to mention the second half. You mean the three go fight bag? <laughs> Red shade. Oh shit. Blue bitch. Twenty-eight miles down this road, it was much the same story. Please, please tell me you're witnessing this. Oh, mate, I'm mad for it, I'm mad for it. I think it's got to be six or seven, I don't know. I can't believe it myself. I swear I'm not going to touch another drop of scotch. I'm going to stay sober and savour every last moment. Oh, mate, I'm going to get rat ass me. What am I going to do now? I'm just going to bounce down to the pub and get some booze and come back. So what I'll do... I'll see you later. When those goals went see you later, Gaffos. I hate Scousers! 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 It's a grand old way to be alive.
the Ataturk Stadium, May 2005. This magnificent piece of silverware was already packed, polished, and on its way to Milan San Siro Stadium. Surely not even a miracle could have prevented the inevitable. But here it sits, proudly, elegantly, <laughs> and permanently at the home of football. You little beauty. So what exactly happened during the interval on that incredible night? What could have possibly inspired such amazing acts of resilience, courage, and heroism? A fight back so valiant that even world leaders were moved to make official statements including one from the Italian Prime Minister and AC Milan President, Silvio Berlusconi, who said, and I quote, What the fuck happened there? Unquote. Indeed, Berlusconi's words could be echoed by all who witnessed the miracle that was Istanbul. Even the great man himself <laughs> must have wondered if a comeback was possible. So what did happen in that dressing room? <laughs> All right, so what exactly did happen in that dressing room at half-time in 2005? Everyone was dead calm, considering the, uh, the situation we were in. And everyone was really composed and, and the manager was really cool. Well, as, as Stevie said, you know, the, the boss played it really cool. Rafa just went, went through the game and we just sat there all in silence, really. Myself, I was just sitting there thinking about um, what all the item baddies were going to say to me when I got back home, uh, if, if the scoreline stayed the same. Well, look, what I was thinking about myself, I was just thinking of me getting back to Bootle, but my dad chased me with a baseball back down Bootle more than, more than anything. Every interview and report seems to suggest a dressing room of complete calm, composure, equanimity. But in a sensational recent development, we are now about to discover the real story behind that historical fight back. In this shop, We've managed to set up a secret meeting with the owner's brother, who's flown in today, especially from Istanbul. We've discovered that he was the head security guard at the Ataturk Stadium on that fateful night in 2005. And that on the morning after the game, he took the crucial CCTV videotape from the Liverpool dressing room. And on that tape, were some startling revelations.
And so now, for the first time ever, we can reveal a world-exclusive look at those crucial halftime dressing room minutes. 15 minutes that rewrote history. 15 minutes that shook the world. Now get on this. Oh. How often was that car, considering the, uh, the situation we were in? The boss played it really cool. Rafa just went, went through the game and we just sat there all in silence, really. You should be in there with him, you red as a beautiful. Sammy, go and get him. Go and get him out the toilet. I'll be back. Boss, what are we going to do? Have you got a plan for the second half? Come on, boss, I'm chocker here. Necesito caltontilias limpios mayorta! Javi, what's he going on about there, lad? He said he, uh, he got that shit. Kaka, go through you. Okay, so, now. Kaka, come through me. You all play like fairies. Like pussies. With the goatee beards, and you know how I hate goatee beards. Okay, so now I go. I go work out the plan. That's the best Sayori's looked in the box all night. Yeah, man. 
Martinica. Porque creo que es por un error. Y no te pongo una hija. Ok, ok. 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 Spirito Shanti. Ay, Signora. Y Shanti. Este y festeriado. Si necesite nunca su ayuda o una cierta intervención divina, es ahora. Nunca he sentido tan desamparado o avergonzado como ahora siento. Ni siquiera cuando actué en aquel película azul, el yo sé en los 70. La con la naranja, Rafa. Y la gafa. El azotó de mi aura es de la desparación total. Sí, sí. Nunez, José mí. Si ustedes podrían brillar su luz por esta oscuridad, les prometo solamente, yo nunca mostraré las casas de los jugadores. Envíame un cenar, señor. Envíame. Un salvador. Qué bueno, Leos de Osmo, muchacho. So, everybody. Where do... Ow! Sorry. Where do I start? Ahora toco una senatra para mí. Okay, so. I have no plan. Just the, these words from my heart. And now, half time is here. And so we face humiliation. 
outclassed, outthought, outpassed, the laughing stock of every nation. But we can turn this around, because we have much more in our locker. So, Kara, what do you say? I'm chocke. Mistakes? I've made a lot. I wish that I could change this story. Alas, I had no choice. It was either Bishkan or Treori. I planned for weeks and weeks. I didn't think Milan could spoil it. But now, my effing plans are down the toilet. I feel so sick. I feel so sad. I can't believe you play so bad. Oh, how will we get over this? The whole damn world will take the piss! Get on that pitch, you shout of pigs, and make it our day! It's true, we must regroup. If we go down, we gotta fight him. It's right, boss, because I won't be able to show me face around Aiton. I know if we work hard that we can win this game of soccer. So, Cara, what do you say? I'm still shocked. Eh? For what is Haman? Hmm? What has he got? He smokes, he drinks, he uses pot. But he will shine. He'll close our ranks. He'll be like Rommel in his tank. So, now go out. Follow the crowd. And make it our day. Hmm? Hang on, boys, hang on. Can you hear that? How proud does that make you feel? Ooh la la. It's beautiful. Now I play. It's right, Jimmy lad. Now we all play. I'm prepared to die for all them out there tonight. Who's with me? Hang on. Where's Lewis Garcia? Where is he? He's in the sock. Lewis, are you up for it? Si, Capita. Come on then, boys, let's go. Come on, off we go. 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 Jesse. It gives you wings, eh? Eh? <laughs> Do you think they'll do it? There's more chance of me growing a goatee beard. Hmm? So it's a hits it against Kafu and it comes back to it. He supports oh. it back into the box. Header on goal! Oh, he's got it! And the captain has delivered a blow to AC Milan. They may be three goals down Liverpool, but Steven Gerrard has urged the thousands of Reds fans inside here to get to their feet. A headed goal from the captain and a glimmer of hope in the Champions League final. Reese are given two chances to cross. The second one plumb on the head of Gerrard and Dina stranded. Gerrard hits in corner and it's 3-1 to AC Milan. A glimmer of hope in the Champions League final. Gerard! He's pushed over inside the box! It's a penalty for Liverpool! 
they've got a chance! It's Xabi Alonso for three, three is safe! And Alonso follows it in! It's wonderful! It's marvellous! It's 3-3 three, three in the European Cup final! It seems like you've never seen! And the 30 minutes added on. Surely no chances. Well, ball down, saved by Dunek! Oh, oh he's going to be falling in! Dunek, what a shot! Like that. I warned you, didn't I? And stop slamming doors!
Oh, straighten you, face for God's sake. You could have been worse. You could have been playing for Man United. We won it five times. We won it five times. In Istanbul. We won it five times. <laughs> My name is Rafa. Rafa. Rafa the Nino. Rafa the Nino. You're talking to me? Hmm? Are you talking to me? Hmm. Istanbul, 2005. So many things went through my head. I was shell shocked. I was a cabbage, along with 50,000 reds. All of our hopes and dreams were shattered. Three nil down, we were dead. But man, I swear we sang like angels at halftime upon that night. Walk on. There was a mist over the Bosphorus. The moon and stars Walk were shining bright. On. That's when I saw those heavens open And God was dressed in red and white Yeah, take it away, angels mm. You got me back there, you got me back there Again for the 96. 
Thank you.